Hi everyone, hope you're all doing well. So, as you can see, I have no makeup on, um, which I always say the same thing. I always say that it can only mean one thing, and that's a makeup tutorial. But today, I'm doing something a little bit different, um, and I decided to... Oh god, my arms are still orange. So, just going to point out, if you watched my previous video, um, I told you guys that I had a spray tan at college for somebody's assessment, and I looked very orange. Well, that's still the case. It hasn't really worn off and my face looks very pale compared to the rest of my body so I do apologise for that, please just ignore it. But secondly, I do still have a cold so if I sound a bit like a man then it's because I can't breathe properly but I thought I would do a video today because I now have two weeks off college for um, like spring... I was going to say spring break but that's American isn't it? For the Easter holidays I have two weeks off so I want to get loads and loads of videos done um, and I thought this one would be something a bit fun to do. I'm going to be doing a five product face, but a spring edition. So it's kind of like a spring makeup tutorial, but I'm only going to be using five products on my face. And I just thought it would be something fun to do. Um, I saw Becca from Becca Rose make this video on her channel and I loved it, so I thought I would do it as well. Okay, so without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so I've zoomed in, which is kind of scary because I look not my best really. No, we all look better with a bit of makeup, don't we? So I think we can just get past the fact that this is what we look like without any makeup. Okay, so I'm just going to point out I have got a few spots at the moment. Um, we all get spots, nothing to be ashamed of. Mine aren't even proper spots though, they're like little under the skin spots and then I pick at them and then they look red and then it looks like I'm spotty but I'm not. But I have spots and my skin isn't great at the moment so just thought I'd point that out. I thought I would just quickly show you what skincare products I used this morning just in case you want to know. So the first thing I used is the Garnier Micellar Water. Now this is the green one um, which is for combination of sensitive skin. I usually use the pink one which is for like normal to dry skin and it's my holy girl product. You guys will know by now that I absolutely love it. It's my all time favourite product and I thought I'd give this one a go just because it had a different colour on it and I was attracted to that. But it seems pretty similar to the other one so. I then used the Effaclar Duo because obviously I'm a bit spotty so I want to try and get rid of the spots as quick as I can and fade any scarring so this is a really great serum to use to help with that. I then used a moisturiser and I used the Body Shop Vitamin E Moisture Lotion which just looks like this and the reason I use this is because it's got an SPF in it and obviously we're coming into spring now. The sun should start showing and obviously you want to protect your skin so this is a really good one to use. It's really light but it is really moisturising at the same time so it's a great one to use underneath makeup. And then lastly I used an eye cream and this is the Balance Me Wonder Eye Cream. I mentioned this in a video before, I've almost used it up. Um, it's really great and it does the job so that's what I used. So the first product I'm going to be using is a foundation. Obviously you could use whatever foundation you like but the one I'm currently using at the moment is... Oh god did you see that? The NARS Sheer Glow. Um, I haven't tried it out too much so I'm not really sure what my thoughts are yet but I thought I would just include it in a video just so you guys can see it kind of in action. Annoyingly I didn't get a pump with it though so I'm having to put it on the back of my hand and I feel like I'm using too much. So what I'm going to do is just try and dot this around my face. Oh god it's going to come out everywhere. I'm not going to really use too much I don't think but I want it to just look really fresh for spring. Okay so I think we'll blend this in and see how we go and then if we need to add more we can. Um, the brush I've been using at the moment for foundation is a bit of a weird one. It's the So Eco, the blush brush. Now it looks a bit more like a powder brush than a foundation brush, but I find that it's been blending in my foundation really, really great, so I'm going to use this one. Okay, so that's the foundation after kind of one um, sort of quite thin layer. Um, and obviously you can still see a lot of my spots around here but because this is a five product face um, I didn't have a product left to put concealer in because everything else kind of overruled concealer so I'm just going to have to deal with that. I might just do another quick layer just to help hide a few more of the spots. These spots that I get are really strange and I'd love to know if any of you either get them or have any tips on how to get rid of them but I've had them since I was little. They're like little under the skin kind of white, um, like white, white heads, I don't know what they're called, like little white spots, they're not like pussy spots or anything, and they just stay under my skin and they, I just end up picking them because they just look lumpy, um, and I've had them since I was little, and I sort of grew out of it, but now they started to come back, and I just get them really on the sides of my cheeks, 
um, and I get them on the backs of my arms as well. Um, but I literally don't know what to do to get rid of them. And I'd love to know if any of you guys know what they are or how to get rid of them because you'd be a lifesaver. So now what I'm going to do is move on to my eyebrows because I feel like I always look very strange until I've done my eyebrows. So for my brows I'm going to be using my Maybelline 24 hour colour tattoo um, in the colour Permanent Taupe. And I'm going to use my MAC 208 angle brush, what I always use for my brows. Um, but first I'm just going to brush through them. Oh. But first I'm just going to brush through them with a little spoolie. You probably won't be able to see from there but my eyebrows really need sorting out so apologies if you can see. But I'm just going to take a tiny little bit on the end of the brush and then just work it through. So that's one brow done. Okay, so that's my brows done. I'm now going to add a little bit of colour to my face and I'm going to use the um, Soap and Glory Solar Powder. Now I went with this product because inside you get a bronzer and sort of a highlighter. It is quite a bronzy highlighter, so you wouldn't want to just apply it here. But I'm just going to blend the two together and just add a bit of colour and a bit of kind of glow at the same time. And to do that I'm going to use the Zoeva 126 Luxe Cheek Finish. And I'm just going to swirl it round, tap off the excess because I'm not sure how dark it's going to come out. And just kind of add a little bit of colour to the hollows of my cheekbones. And I'm going to try and take just a little bit of the highlighter side and just apply that on the tops of my cheekbones. Yeah, it's very bronzy for a highlighter. Definitely would work better on like more tanned skin. And then just down the nose. And that will do. Next up, I'm going to use some mascara. Um, I'm using the Essence Lash Princess Volume Mascara. Now, I haven't tried this yet, so this is kind of like a first impressions on camera. Um, I got this in my glossy box for March, and I think the packaging is quite cute, so I thought I'd give this a go. I'm just going to curl my lashes before I apply mascara. I've been trying to curl my lashes a lot more recently just to see if I notice the difference, because so many people like live by curling their lashes. So I thought I would start doing it. I just get really scared, I don't know why. If I don't like this, then this is going to ruin my makeup look. It's quite a thick mascara, like my lashes are clumping together quite a lot. I'm just going to apply some to my bottom lashes as well. That I'm pulling some really attractive mascara faces. Okay, so that's eyes done. Um, last thing to do is lips. Now I've got a few colours and I really can't decide which one to go for. Oh, decisions, decisions. I think I'm going to go pink. Okay, so I'm using the um, Rimmel Kate Moss lipstick in the shade 16. And this is like a really gorgeous spring bright pink and I'm not really sure how much I've worn it so give this a go. There we go, I think that looks alright. don't know what's going on with my hair, I tried to put some curls in it but they've all gone in different directions. I hope you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up if you did, please um, leave me any video suggestions down below, uh, give this video a like if you enjoyed it, please subscribe if you are new, I'm so close to 5000 and if I got there soon that would be amazing, um, yes I hope you enjoyed this video, I'll see you all soon, bye, oh it's so bad, I don't know how it's not fading.